What is up guys, it's Mike the Chimamo here, and welcome to episode 25, part 2 of my Morasul playthrough. Now technically speaking, this is not really a part 2, it's going to be more about the Temple of Al Shadim. However, there are still some things that I have to do, and since, technically speaking, uh, the Temple of Al Shadim is the Temple of Morasul, it's going to be Morasul part 2. Um, but first we're gonna search for the missing Hashishin Ramirez. We're gonna search for um, the Kafu's guard so I can get that quest completed as well as with the gold, you know. And we're gonna deliver Orknarok to the Orcs and get that quest completed as well. You showed him. So I will be able to get the eleventh and final one, Fire Chalice. The really, really last one is in Nordmar. Um, but first we're gonna take care of the orcs. Well, assist the orcs as much as we can. Still needs one key, which is from Gonzales. And uh, we'll see how quickly I'm able to get through this part, second part slash the Temple of Al Shadim. Because uh, the, El the Temple of Al Shadim does not only indicate the Temple of Al Shadim, but also its surroundings. And if I'm correctly, this is the area with the Water Mage Saturus, which means artifact search, you know, statues of the warriors, tablets of the priests, vases of uh, also a specific clan or whatever. So I'm going to be quite busy here, as well as finding Kafu's Guards, which is somewhere between Morasul slash the Fields of Ruins and some other things as well. So we're gonna go through them as quickly as possible, as efficiently as possible. But if you want to quick search certain things, make sure to check the description and it will allow you to skip through pretty much everything. Let's talk with the fat man. Beat it! We don't need any filthy mercenaries. What is your job here? I oversee the slaves at the excavation. You got a problem with that? Faisul wants to keep doing business. Oh, does he? And why should we agree to that? I will introduce you to a world of hurt if you don't keep doing business. Yeah, I believe that. But I don't give a rat's ass. We're all under the Orcs' command here. You dirty idiots from Morasul have no business here. I ought to punch you in the mouth. What do you think of that? Try it, bastard, then show me what you've got. Come on, man, stand up. The next time, I'll kill- Oh, man. Don't do that again. Well, that depends on you. What is it now? Are you still in business with Faisul, or what? Hmm. <laughs> Alright, you win. We'll keep doing business with him. Very good. I could also give him endurance potions. But that's for the rebel. Alright, so where is this uh, Hashishin guy? He 
will tell me to deliver him to the orcs. The orc leader will say, you know, I don't need him. Go shadow beast hunting or something. Then we go shadow beast hunting. Then I can let him go, he will go to the oasis. I think he's up there, yep. I recognize the building structure. Over there, we will find the uh, Hashishin. bit of walking around it but you know what is that why are you bringing this to the temple it's bad Masil says it's all settled with you in that Orkna rock has Belial shadow abandoned you completely nothing is settled take him away to Kalesh what's your problem with Orkna rock old Mazir warned me he told me what would happen once the man from the north came here he will bring us doom who is this Mazir? He's an old artifact hunter. He lives here among the ruins. The words he speaks are wise and true. And he warned me. All right, so well, let's take him to the leader then, which is at the, uh, the front gates of the temple. Let's see if we can find anything in here. Like maybe a stone tablet, no? Q, Q. Oh dear, where's Orkna Rock? He's been glitching through the wall, hasn't he? Oh, but now so did my lion. Oh, fuck me. I'll never be able to pull this off! What's your problem? I'm not getting any further with my search for the divine artifacts. The desert beasts are eating my slaves. The temple is made of ancient, massive stone. I cannot tear it down. I could get inside through the gate, but I'm still missing a few keys. This is really exasperating. I'm afraid we cannot enter the temple if we don't have the other four keys. You've got problems with desert beasts? Those beasts are everywhere in the fields of ruins. The fearless ones are the worst. Those beasts are not afraid of my warriors and keep attacking my camp. I need to get back to the camp and check on everything there. I will take care of the fearless desert beasts. <sighs> it would be nice if we didn't have to watch our backs all the time. But be careful and don't lure them into the camp, right? You will find the beasts to the east of the temple in the fields of ruins. Tell me more about the remaining keys to the temple. We need five keys in order to open the temple. I found one of them among the ruins, so four are still missing. 
And I need someone who can move among the Moras without drawing any attention. You could be that someone. What are you getting at? The Moras are stealing my artifacts and taking them to Morasul. The keys will be there too. I want you to find them. Why don't you go to Morasul yourself? That city is full of sneaking thieves. If I go there, they will steal my key as well. No. No, I'll stay here by the temple and guard the one I have. You're a Mora, one of them. You will go to Morasul. Bring me the other four keys to the temple. I've got a slave for you here, Orknarok. You're bringing me a Nordmar warrior? Take him away. I cannot use an orc mercenary. Go hunt desert beasts with him. I don't care. Just as long as he gets out of my way. Do you believe that this temple contains a divine artifact? I bet it does. If it isn't in this monument of the Ancient Ones, where else would it be? I see. Let's go desert beast hunting. At least uh, Orknarok got bugged out. Now only my lion. Oh, there he is. Well, she. It's a lioness, so... Technically speaking, it's she. Come. Let's go beast hunting. Filthy beast less. One filthy beast less. Filthy beast less. Lost one. I don't think I need you any longer. All right. Then I can finally go and do my own thing. Thank you. Here, take this. It will help you. Farewell. All right, so that's been taken care of. Um, now I have to go back to the leader. And then the search for the Kafu guards. The search for... Um, the missing Hashishin and Mazia begins. Before I will kill the Hashishin that uh, actually killed Ramirez, I will first have to talk with the Black Mage, otherwise that quest gets bugged. If you already killed him beforehand, you cannot complete him, complete that quest, so be very careful with that one. The fearless desert beasts are dead. The beasts are dead? Good. Suddenly things don't look quite so hopeless around here. Here, take this as a reward. 
I was more interested in orc reputation, but sadly I got none. all the way around it for no reason. <laughs> Now this area is huge, so I will say that in advance, I get confused relatively quickly. So I'll do my best to uh, get everything done as quickly as possible, like the uh, artifacts that Saturus seeks. Or was it Reordian? Either one of them, at any rate. Nothing here. <laughs> the line goes into buggy mode again.
I first check, I'll always check the surroundings, you know, because I know there will be nomads standing around and such. But, uh, I always have issues with finding these Kafu guards for one, and for two, these, uh, what were the other guards? The Ashishin guys. And Ram Mazir? Um, yeah, Mazir. But I will find them eventually, no worries. I think. Stone Chablet, yeah. I need six more for frost wave. See, it's the first one I seek, and then uh, the Kafu guards, and then I will quickly go to uh, the Black Mage and report about Ramirez's corpse. He will tell me to find the murderer, which is the one that sells the ore blanks. I will find out that's one of the Ashishin that's hiding it between the fields of the ruins. If I remember correctly, the uh, seekers, well, the killers, the war sellers, whatever you want to call them, are over there. But I'm not looking for those. I'm looking for Mazia. Oh, here. Yeah.
Why have you walked? Where are you headed, stranger? I'm looking for a couple of artifacts here. Well, what do you know, boy? Me too. Want to trade? Let's trade. Fine, I'm pleased. By the way, I am Mazir. They call me a treasure hunter. I'm a madman and babbler, they say, but they are blind to my riches. Except for Zubin. That's right, not him. Old Zubin. But I'm rambling again. You know Zubin? Yes, from way back. He had a couple of really good visions. But that was 70 years ago. Aha. Uh -huh. I'm looking for Ramirez. Have you seen him? Ramirez. Ramirez. Yes, yes. <laughs> Do you know where he's hiding or not? Yes, I know where he is. I can take you to him. I tell you what, I'm an old man. My years are passing, like the wind sweeping across the dunes. What is it? I want to enjoy the delights of Murat's oasis once more. So, first I take you to Ramirez, and then you will accompany me to Murat's oasis. Tell me about your riches. I see many things. Everything that I have seen so far has also come to pass, my son. A man will come from the north and lay a terrible curse on the desert. He will open the temple of Morasul, and the dead will wander across the sands of the desert. They will avenge themselves on the living because their eternal rest has been disturbed. Who will open the temple? A man from the north. He has fought many battles. He has done many a great deed. He will be the one who decides between good and evil. At first, I believed the fighter Kirk from Morasul would be this man. But I am no longer sure. I see. Show me what you found. Why have you woken hmm. me? All right. Take me to Ramirez. Then follow me, Father of Delights. All right, so let's go then. Here we are. He's down there. And did you find him? What was left of him, anyway. Then let us head for Murat's oasis now, before we end up like him. Let's go to Murat's oasis. I know the way, but you must protect me. Don't worry about it. Just give me a sec to get this response. Eating and talking is not a good combination.
once I took him to uh, Murat's Oasis, I will get Kafu's guards. Go back to Morasul report. You know. I will kill the beast. <sighs> you will never bother me again. Got the temple key of Morasul. One second. Alright, sorry about that. You know, I got a phone call from a mage of mine. Wanted to chill, but uh, I got to go to the dentist tomorrow, so... I have to sleep kind of early today. You asked for it! <laughs> <laughs> Unworthy creature. Normally I don't mind chilling, you know, but uh, I have to get some good night's sleep and uh, I only get that by working pretty much. And you know, I don't want to make it too late again, which always happens when uh, Mates are gonna chill out. I hate going to the dentist, but you know, it is what it is. Many thanks for your help. Now we can rest for a while. Here, take this 
I'm sure you will like it. Why have you woken me? All right, so let's get Kalfu's card. They should be in the vicinity close to Morasu. So I would just look within the field of ruins relatively found them. Lion. So let's quickly teleport to Morasu. It. What do you want? Orknarok is at the excavation. Good. Now we can get down to business. What is it? Well, first we need a bit of gold. And I happen to know how we can get it. I have a magic ore blank. If we sell it, we will get a hefty sum of gold. What do you think? How much are you asking for the ore blank? Well, you should know that I borrowed gold from a couple of business partners. With the ore, it shouldn't be any problem paying off my three promissory notes. I get the blank, and you get your promissory notes. Hmm. A good deal for both of us. What do you say? I'll take a look into the business with your promissory notes. Good. Here is the ore blank. I would sell it myself, but... Well, if I show up just anywhere with it, I'll get a fraction of its value at most. I see. All right, so promissory notes. Elijah, Smith, First, let me quickly talk to the bounty hunter.
I found Ramirez. Good. Where is he? He's dead. Ningal is bound to find that interesting. You'd better tell him yourself. So see to it that Nasib lets you in. Here is the promised reward. Kafu's former guards are history. <laughs> Good work. I knew you could do it. You also get a fat reward. Gonzales will be proud of us. All right. The 700 gold pieces for Kafu. Can I talk to Gonzales? Gonzales is very impressed with your deeds. If you ask me, you will go far with the Hashishin. If you keep this up. Thanks. That's what I wanted to hear. It is best if you go straight to him. He's expecting you. Let me pass. You can go in. So you rendered Morasul a great service. Then you probably also know that the Hashishin Ramirez has disappeared. I found Ramirez in the Field of Ruins. He is dead. That is extremely regrettable. The ruins are very dangerous, but he knew the danger. He could appreciate it. I cannot imagine that he was eaten by sand crawlers. No. His death is connected to his mission. Here, this is for you. What was Ramirez's mission? A shipment of raw ore was stolen from Benzala. Some of it has surfaced at the merchants here in Morasul. I put Ramirez on the matter. He was following a clue. He believed he had found the ore thief, and he probably had. You believe that the ore thief is also the murderer? I want you to stay on this matter, find his killer, and avenge Ramirez. But be sure that you catch the right one. What can you do for me? Because you have proven capable, I will teach you the art of magic. Teach me something about ancient magic. I could learn the learning points or, you know, the uh, trick of the trades, but I will keep them for thieving. Have you come to bring me a present? None of that. I want to talk to you. All right. You made it into my presence, so your efforts shall be rewarded. Let us talk. Tell me about the orcs. They are driven by an iron will that led them all the way here. Pitiful creatures. The orcs have come to the desert, although they cannot bear the climate and the scorching sun. If you ask me, they will all perish in the burning sand of the desert before the next summer. I'm worried about the nomads and their spiritual leaders, the water mages. What's the problem with the water mages? The nomads follow them and their false god, Adonos. We are enslaving the nomads, and yet their numbers only seem to be increasing. They are pillaging our houses, raiding our caravans, and only have one thing on their minds. To drive our people, the Hashishin, from the desert. If we killed their leaders, the water mages, they wouldn't be half as bold and com- I'm not gonna kill the water mages. I'm looking for the keys to the temple. Interesting. And how can I help you? Do you know anything about the keys? All right. We are both businessmen, and therefore I don't want to beat around the bush. One of the keys is in my possession. What do you want for the key? The orcs want the artifacts of the Ancient Ones. They're leaving no stone unturned in the desert. They would pay any price to get into the deepest sanctuaries of the Ancient Ones. Therefore, this key is worth a whole lot. Given current developments, I would relinquish it to you for 10,000 gold coins. That is a steal, in my humble opinion. What do you think? Here's the gold. Give me the temple key. It was a pleasure doing business with you. I hope you'll be smart enough to get your gold back from the orcs. Like I said, I will not kill the water mages at any costs. Alright, so 
Let's go to the smithy. Where did you get the magic ore blank? I cannot remember, son of nosiness. I am but a poor blacksmith, and my pockets are empty. Now, do you remember anything about that ore? Funny, uh, now that you say it, I do indeed remember. Hassan the Hassishan sold it to me, but he left town a while ago. What's my smithing at the moment? 26? 50? Could also invest in his Shadak. Let me invest into smithing first. Teach me something about being a smith. Ahem. <clears throat> you aren't ready for that. Carry on. Carry on like that. Carry on like that. Carry on. That's the way. Two more smithing. You aren't ready for that. But then I don't have the learning points anymore to learn it. <laughs> ah, look here. The new champion of Morasul. I knew you were a sure bet. Wow, I made a great profit. Give me Masil's promissory note. Hmm. All right. Since you insist, I hope you know what you're doing. Don't let Masil get the better of you. Here's the promissory note. Now the last one. I have come about Masil's promissory note. Just a moment. I need to see where I put it. Ah, yes. It's two, let's say three, and a half, two thousand gold coins. You're joking, right? Or you give me a piece of raw ore. You know about the ore? Hey, everybody here knows that Masil has raw ore. And now he sends you to repay his debt. So, you've heard my offer. Here's the raw ore. Excellent. And here's the promissory note. All right, so that's done as well. Let's deliver them. Where did you get the magic ore blank? Get me my promissory notes. Then I will tell you. Here, take this. You are now out of debt. Terrific, but those aren't all of the promissory notes. If I want to do business in this city again, oh. I need all three back. I know, I forgot. It's all settled. The fat man is in business again. See? That wasn't so hard. And you'll get a reward, too. I should damn well think so. Here, take this. I suppose this is what you had in mind. I wish you success with the tasks that lie ahead of you, stranger. And what's the last one, then? I got it from the smith. I'm confused again. Heck 
capture is only charm. Quite the loss. Oh, right, I'm heat, I think. Let's see if it's Hamid. No. Hmm. Gonzalez was also maybe Gonzalez. I doubt it. I think I know. No, that was my seal. Let me check nevertheless, just to be doubly sure. I'm totally confused. I can't remember where I can get the third one. It ain't Gonzalez, it ain't Hamid. Elijah already have, Hector already have, who's the third one? It is one of the merchants of that I'm certain. Ah, this guy. I want Masil's promissory note. How much do you want for it? I won't take your gold. You'll need it with the others. And what do you want? Nothing. At least not yet. I'll come back to that later. He wanted me to steal in return, you know, those goblin and the soul challenges. But those are already done. Here, take this. You are now out of debt. Oh, thank you. Now I am finally free of my debts. Now I am free to do business in the city again. Take this as a reward. And good luck with your own business, stranger. Don't let them fleece you. That happens all too easily in the city. Give me the fire mage's chalice. Gladly. Here it is. So, where did you get the magic ore blank? Hassan, the Hashishi, sold it to me. He was in the city for a while, and they also did business with Ishmael. Alright, see if I have to report that to uh, Ramirez. Oh, Ramirez, the uh, black mage. Can't report that in. Hmm. What about by the by uh, bounty hunter? No. Okay. I know exactly where he is, though. Well, at least I think I do. But uh, I'm starting to feel that the episode is already relatively long, so uh, I guess there will be a part 3. Because I still haven't done the um, search of the artifacts, as well as... Uh, yeah, it's not gonna be a part 3, it's gonna be the Temple of Al-Shadim. I think that's better, and then we're done here. Um, so let's kill Hassan, complete the quests in the city, except for the ones to kill the water mages. I also still have to deliver the gold to Kafu, I will do that at the same time. They're not here. I have to go this way. Uh. 
There they are. I know that you stole the ore blanks. That's what Ramirez said too. Actually, I seem to remember those were his last words. There was only screaming after that. Where are the raw ore blanks? I sold them some time ago. Ha! <laughs> And I got a fair sum of gold for them, but you will never find it. I will avenge Ramirez. Just try it. You're about to die! Uh, uh. <coughs> Ready? All of you? Stop right there, you dog. I shall win the next fight. My belly or my head. Oh, my skull. All right, so let's start about some more soul again. I know who murdered Ramirez. And? Who is responsible? A Hashishin named Hassan. Hassan? Well... Hmm. He worked for Nerusul, who is currently staying at Ishtar. See to it that you are granted admission to Ishtar, and sort out that Nerusul. I will exercise my influence with Suban for you. I can do no more. Oh, and I assume that Hassan has received his just punishment? What exactly should I do with Nerusu? Find out if he really is behind the ore theft. And what if he is? Then teach him a final lesson. My people may be a group of gold-hungry bastards, but we will never allow miserable thieves like Hassan to gain power and wealth. I've taken care of Hassan. And the death of Ramirez is avenged. Gold. Here, take this gold. You have earned it. About admission to Ishtar. If you continue working as you have here in Morasul, 
you will soon stand before Zuban. Convince a few of the other mages, then you will be as good as admitted into Ishtar. Nope, because for that I have to kill the water mages. Sadly, but true. Alright guys, this is uh, the end of a part 2 of Morasul. Only Morasul quests. Let me double check, have been completed. Alright. Kafu. And uh, the next episode is going to be the Temple of Al Shadim. The reason why I'm gonna do those separate is because that temple is going to be a hell. It's gonna be very, very difficult to get through the two undead Madoshis. And uh, I'd rather have enough time than have a two hour episode because let's say I die a lot, you know. So I would just do it on a separate occasion. I did away with the guards. Excellent father of vigor. Naturally, you have earned a reward. Now, if you bring back my gold as well, you can be sure of my undying gratitude. Here are your 700 gold coins back. Thank you, father of prudence. Take this water and some of my gold as a token of my gratitude. My prayers will go with you on every scorched path that you walk, my friend. Alright, since I leveled up, let me teleport again to Morasul. And learn the proper use of heavy armor. As well as getting my smithing capabilities to 50. So as soon as I can learn those two, I can do so. Don't cause any more trouble here. Teach me something about being a smith. That's the way. Carry on like that. How can I use heavy armor properly? Most people make the mistake of not putting their armor on properly. All parts of the armor must be firmly connected. Not so tightly that you cannot move, but tightly enough so that there are no weak spots left in the armor. Okay, so I still have nine learning points left. Let's go to the thief. Uh, nine is 38, 48. All right, so if I could get it one more, I can learn difficult pickpockets. I will see how I can get I will first in learn all the other things before I will learn and invest my learning points into uh, ancient knowledge. Teach me something about thievery. You're not my dad if you never get anywhere. That's the way. Teach me how to pick difficult pockets. No problem. You have enough talent for that. Basically, you don't have to do anything other than what you've done in your earlier thefts. Distract and grab. Look your opponent straight in the eye. Most people find that unpleasant, and it distracts them. Then grab. It's worth it. You aren't ready for that. Now, it will take some time before I will actually get my smithing to 50 for, well, my thieving for knockdown and 80, 90, 100 to get this one at the very least, you know, knockdown. So since I have three learning points left, I'm gonna invest those into ancient knowledge, which means I will have an ancient knowledge of 127. Which almost enough for ice explosion. Almost. Alright, so this is about the end of the episode, guys. I want to thank you all for watching. If you like what you see, feel free to subscribe. And if you do, hit the notification bell. And, uh... If you like the video, also leave the thumbs up behind, it will count towards the hardcore run. 
of the Gothic series and uh, positive and negative feedback are always welcome. But uh, in the next episode we're gonna go and get El Shadim done, uh, including the artifacts and such. So uh, yeah, I hope to see you guys next time and uh, have a good day.